All right, guys. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play, and um, going back to the roots of the channel for a uh, playthrough. Uh, now I've seen this uh, playthrough uh, when it was being done by Nowell Nowell Entertainment. Um, I've spoken with him uh, once before by email. Um, we were going to do something together, um, but it's just he's not. In, we're not in the same time zone and doing it together would be very difficult for us both so in, it didn't really go past that kind of initial conversation but we had a good decent conversation nonetheless uh, if you want to go and check out his playthrough of the game I will leave the channel in the description uh, go, and give us some, go and give us some love go and give us some, uh, a subscribe and uh, show him that you know that you want to uh, support him he's another small channel like me um, Got uh, at the minute, he has 233 subscribers. The last time I, I saw, he had 100 to 180. So he's gained quite a few. Uh, he's got a bit less than me, but he puts out a lot more LPs at, uh, over the course of quite a, quite a lot. Know this. This creature is a bringer of death. He will never eat, he will never sleep, and he will never stop. So the, currently this bunny thing is not working. There we go. Um, so I've heard this game is absolutely terrible. And when I say terrible, I mean it is really bad. Um, I'm gonna leave my, uh, interpretation of the game for myself i'm not gonna you know i saw a review he said the game was really bad awful um and just looks really bad in general and it uses scenes from the film uh, as the cut scenes now i've not played this game before so this, this is blind um, but i do want to i do want to get i do want to sort of gain a few more people to the channel so i'm probably going to be uploading this in between times between when uh I want to get Metal Gear uh, done, and I'm doing that all in advance. So while you guys are waiting for that, and while uh, you are... Uh, obviously, we've got um, Godfather going on now. Uh, Godfather is currently being uploaded. Know this. This creature is a bringer of death. He will never eat, he will never sleep, and he will never stop. So there is three games in, in this series, and I'm going to play them all. Um, but not, but ball them all out. I'm not going to do them one after the other really quickly. So let's start a new game, shall we, and see what this game, see what this game actually involves and what it's like. I've been looking at this for a while. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do, and I'm now doing it. So let's do it. Remember, it is blind, so I have no idea what's going on. But I know there is a level that I'm probably going to rage at quite a bit. Oh my God, that is using the scenes from the film, but... Are they... Sort of... 1290 BC. They're dubbed down heavily. Pharaoh Seti I's mistress betrays him with his trusted priest, Imhotep. Imhotep and Anaxunamun are discovered and taken to Hamanatra, city of the dead, where they are cursed and mummified. Imhotep suffers the Hamdai, the worst of all the Egyptian curses. Uh, Anaxunamun is not, uh, suffered or cursed. Only Imhotep is. Over 3,000 years later, foreign legionnaire Rick O'Connor 
caught up in a battle that raged above Hamunapta, barely escapes with his life. Some time later, Rick returns to the lost city of the dead with Egyptologist Evelyn Carnahan and her treasure-seeking brother, Jonathan. I think this may be the Book of the Dead. The Book of the Dead? Are you sure you want to be playing around with this thing? It's just a book. No harm ever came from... Reading a book. <laughs> How does that work out for you? That happens a lot around here. What's it say? Amunra. Amunde. It speaks of the night and of the day. Sue aharum muktub sin mas ibet baya. Oh shit, he is pissed. So you walk, action, and jump. Oh god, already I'm dreading this. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It came from over there. Wait a minute. Let's go prepare. Uh, I'll just check back here. Oh my god. That does not sound like, like the actor who played Rick. Uh, what, what's his, uh, Fraser? Uh, oh. Wait, I've got a <laughs> I can't say that and not know who he is. Brendan Fraser, that's it. What? Hang on a minute. It says Brendan Fraser and it says John Schneider. So when does he play Rick? Okay. Alright, so... Oh my god, he runs the... What have you found? There's something written here, but it's too dark to read. Hold on! What the hell? Ooh, this is one of the legendary panels of Ra. Lighting these gives life. Stay here. I'll go check it out. Can we not do that? You may have killed us all. You have unleashed a creature that we have feared for more than 3,000 years. <laughs> Drill up the torch, put it in any wolf. Already, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the music. So I think you can collect different things around here. To gain extra lives, light up these hieroglyphics with your little Pick up the treasure items to gain magic throwing amulets. What the fuck? Magic throwing amulets?
I see what the guy was telling me about a review. It only lasts like, what, was that like 10 seconds? God, he punches like a bitch. So, I'm 12 minutes into this game, and I'm already stuck, because I have no idea where I need to go. The music is awesome, the music is great, the music is really well, but it doesn't fit. Uh, I agree with what the reviewer was saying. I didn't watch all the review, I watched some of it, he just was basically saying the game was god awful. Gold switch is released. Stand by it and press press it by about my X open door. So this acts more like a training level, I guess. Scar beetles inhabit these ancient tombs. <laughs> what the hell? I died!
These ancient stone jars may contain treasures or traps. only light for 20 seconds. A torch would stay lit all the time. It just seems a bit weird and a bit of a wasted um, mechanic in the game. Something's not right here. Body gameplay. God. Oh my god, I'm stuck! I'm dead. Jesus Christ almighty! Something's not right here. I need to save. I've got problems. One point 
just gonna bump me. Just gonna bump me. Note to self, don't use that. I'm actually quite enjoying this. <laughs> it's bad. I'm not going to say it's not, but I'm actually enjoying it. But Rick controls like an absolute bitch. Honestly, he he controls the most in the most horrendous way ever. I've not I've never actually seen anything control so badly. No! No, I've wasted that fucking one because you need to be right in front of it in order to register. Whoa! Ah, run away! This music's all right for the situation! Why are you fighting these guys at this stage of the game? So what, what is that thing at the bottom of the screen? I know it's my life, but what, what is it actually go, building up to? It's building up to something.
Some panels are not just ancient murals. Press action to see what they do. There's someone around here. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Jump over and press circle while running. Who did that? Ah! Ah! Fucking hell, Rick! Come on! You fucking control like a tank! That's one thing I'm actually liking. It, it it makes you defeat the enemies in order to move on. So I don't mind that. Oh shit. Character models are pretty awful though. Oh shit!
Whoa! Got a bloody... I don't know what I've got there. I've got a sword. Wicked! Oh, that was... That was actually pretty fun. I enjoyed that. Oh! Yeah, perfect zone gems. One out of six. Lives left one... All right, well, that's going to be the end of the uh, end of that video, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm really, I'm really liking this game for the fact that you know I'm not going to say it's great. It's not great. It's farther. It's more. It's less than great. It's it's awful. But as a first level, that was incredibly amount of fun. Even though I died a few times, um, probably will cut out a few things. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to cut out. Um, I think I'm finding myself cutting out less and less in LPs now, just purely because I do editing anyway, and I think when I keep some things raw and just natural, they just seem better, a better playthrough, but they can obviously be longer. Um, let's uh, let's save the game, shall we? So, yeah, I, I actually really enjoyed that. That was really good fun. Uh, yeah, that was really, really, really good fun. Yes, we will. All right, so I don't know if it will continue into the next level. Uh, hopefully it won't. Oh, there we go. Upper ruins. All right, so it's going to continue into the next area. What's that? This? This is for you. I had to, you know, face certain death to get that for you. Hmm. I wonder... <laughs> Ow. Oh, 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 oh. What was that? Evie, I think... Jonathan, look what we found! Rick, if you can find the two missing pieces of this pyroglyph, we can open this door. And that would be good because... It leads to the hidden chambers of Hamanatra. Does it say anything about treasure? Apparently, collecting the treasures of Hamanatra bestows powerful magic. Alright, so I think we've obviously started with three new lives, which is good. So, I think this is kind of like a place where you can just like relax a little bit, not do anything too, there's not any enemies around here, it just sort of seems to be the main focal point of like where you go. Um, but no, this is actually, I, I like this, I'm, I'm enjoying it, uh, as I said before. Um, so I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Uh, the music is great, gameplay and like the fighting is just a little bit uh, clunky, but apart from that, the game's really good and I, I mean this is really really good really good um, music score uh, not 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 all for all uh, really good uh, I mean really, I, I like it anyway uh, thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time <laughs>